Let's bring in someone now who knew Viali very, very well, the former Chelsea and QPR star Gavin Peacock. And Gavin, you played with him at Chelsea, and you join us all the way from Canada. Very grateful for that. But your memories of the man, please. Oh, uh, Gianluca, from the moment he stepped into the club at Chelsea, he was he was a star. Um, on the field, world-class, sure-footed player. Um, he scored goals of every kind uh, with both feet. He was intelligent, strong, brave. He could make goals as well. He had this superb balance and, and grace as well as a player. Um, but but more than that, I would say his greatness came from from being such a humble man. And uh, I think he had that common touch. I mean, he came into Chelsea. You know, I'd, I'd been uh, vice captain at Chelsea. I'd captain Ch Chelsea many times when Dennis Wise wasn't in the team or was injured. And uh, but he came in as a far superior player, and yet always had that that touch with people. He'd speak to everyone. He'd give you good advice and. Um, he was just a wonderful man. And I think the tributes that have poured in over the last day have, have just, uh, they've borne testament to that. So Aidan here, uh, unless I've got it wrong, I mean, he, he reminded me as a player of maybe Alan Shearer. It was the movement, it was the closing down of space, it was that devastating finish, it was being good in the air as well. Would you go mm. along with that, maybe? Yeah, yeah, very much so, Aidan. I mean, you, you, you've uh, seen football through the 80s, 90s and, and, and beyond. And uh, he, came, he was that kind of new style of player that could, that could do everything. Um, but he'd also work very hard. He worked for the team. Um, but uh, I was just so impressed by not only his ability, but, but his work rate. You know, tremendously fit, tremendously strong. And it's just so tragic and ironic that, that his, his fitness failed in the end and, you know, he succumbed to the pan pancreatic cancer, which, which took him. Uh, but a very brave soul and, um, and, and someone who contributed so much to, to the game in, in England and, and really gave himself to it. You know, he didn't come. He was 31, 32 when he came to Chelsea uh, and he could have come just for a payday, but he didn't. He came to give himself to the club and... And he took Chelsea on to another level, not only on the field, but obviously as with, with his management skills as well. I, I remember as well, just, just a little anecdote. I mean, uh, he, he was so well known that the, the, the Italian restaurants in London, they loved him. One restaurant got in touch with me and said, could you get Viali here just for one night? Um, we, we, you know, we'd love to have him here. And uh, uh, Roberto Di, uh, Di Matteo had, had come to Chelsea at the same time. So I got Viali and, and Di Matteo, uh, came along with my wife and my mother-in-law, Mary, who knew nothing really about football. And he sat next to her and talked to her all night at the restaurant. And at the end of the evening, the, uh, the restaurant owner, he said, I'd just like to, to, to give you some, uh, just a, a few hundred quid cash just to give us a gift to Gianluca. And uh, I, I tried to give him the money and he said to me, no, you keep it. And I, I just couldn't, I couldn't give it to him. He said, no, it's yours. You give it, you know, so it's just, just a little touch of the man that you, he was just that kind of guy that was always giving really. Your mother-in-law must have had a, a wonderful evening. Uh, uh, we <laughs> mentioned, yeah, didn't we, going on into management. It seems to be, it happens to so many top footballers. That's great. But management road can be very hard, can't it? Yes, it's another level. Um, it's tough and eventually you know i mean my own father keith he went into management for for several years did well and at the end you know you you do get the sack at some stage and uh but but jean luca did well at, at chelsea and, and 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 the chelsea fans will forever remember the trophies he, he brought to stanford bridge you mentioned it yesterday uh your hairstyle was interviewed was influenced by by uh, luca viali as well Quite, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I, I looked at Luca, and he came. He had all the style, and not only on the pitch but off the pitch. And uh, I thought, you know, I, I might try that uh, shaved head look uh, one one time in preseason. And uh, I, I had a bit of hair at the time, shaved it off. Thought I quite like it. And then after a few months, I realised I couldn't grow it back. But uh, I, I've John Luca to, to thank for my hairstyle and, and many other things he taught me in the game. I, I like the idea that no hair is a hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, great it's memories. It's the only style I've got, Nicholas. Oh, <laughs> great memories. No, great memories, you're great right. Memories Nicholas, and great memories and great man. 